about the key things about trying to interpret an RCT, I would suggest, or some of the key things anyway. Are the treatment groups equal? It is a key point, a baseline. Now, most trials will have, or all trials should have, a, uh, a table one, which will be a um, description of the two groups. So that's what they look like at baseline. And you should be able to, um, most trialists will have done a, a, a test of significance to see there is a difference between the two groups at baseline. Uh, and there shouldn't be. Basically, they should be the same. And a whole range of different demographic clinical variables at baseline should um, should show that the two groups before the treatment started look like the same. And, and then the other thing is, are the follow-ups the same? Um, and as we talked about already, there will be loss to follow up. That's bound to happen, particularly the longer it goes on. And so the thing you want to look out for there is, is any attempt to analyze those patients who are lost to follow up. And that is done in something called an intention to treat analysis. It doesn't really matter exactly what that is, but, but there should be in the methodology, in the analysis, there should be some attempt to account for those patients who are no longer there at the, at the end. And they could, for instance, follow their last known data, or they could take the mean of the outcomes and follow and input those. But there should be some attempt to try to compensate. Otherwise, you've got a bias of those who are lost by sampling there. And then you're looking at the outcomes.